I would like to begin the discussion exploring this changing perspective of diversity, inclusion, and equity. Let's look at what these concepts mean today and what are the explorations that are leading to the future because this new definition, these expanded and the more matured definition of these concepts are going to define how organizations are going to behave, how employees are going to work together in the future of work scenario that we are focusing on, right? So let me just go into a simple alphabetical order. I'll take Madhunika first, then Parshuram, and finally, last but not the least, you will be coming in there. So I've got ladies first, and I've got ladies last also. So Madhunika, over to you, your perspective on these concepts. What is the changing perspective that we are seeing here? So thank you so much, Heyman. Firstly, it's a delight to be here and uh, speak on a topic that is, like you mentioned in your introduction as well, gaining a lot of, um, I would say, a lot of crucial positioning today in today's world, right? Uh, so in all these years um, of, uh, you know, professional life, uh, gender balance or gender equality has always been a topic which has picked up pace over the last decade, two decades that I have been working, right? But today I see that a lot of things are changing or expanding beyond just uh, gender diversity or gender equality. While it still remains a topic of contention and it still remains a very, very crucial topic in the workplace as such, uh, we are now looking way beyond uh, gender diversity or gender equality. Now we are talking about uh, diversity in orientation, diversity in background, diverse, uh, diversity in thoughts of people, experiences that they carry, right? Uh, ethnicity. There are so many um, aspects of diversity that have started being discussed today, not just gender diversity, right? So that really makes it a very, very exciting and, uh, you know, uh, amazing future for us that is unfolding today because with this kind of diversity that I'm talking about today, imagine the kind of creativity, the productivity and the acceptance and the way the, the future of work is going to change because of this expansion of the definition of diversity as such, right? So to me, DEI is something which is not an option anymore. It, it has to be part of our life. It has to be ingrained in our daily lives. In all organizations, whether small, big, medium, diversity has to be taken very, very seriously. Opportunities have to be given to able people, people who will fit into that role in some way or the other. If you see that the roles are not enough, then those role creations need to be done, right? So we are hearing more and more leaders talk about uh, these kind of uh, opportunities opening up and we have a huge population globally. We have a huge population in India. Huge amount of talented people. People think beautifully. Intelligence is so diverse today that we see in different people, right? So bringing all that together and creating a culture where one can work together, where people can work together and push for that creativity. I'll just give you a small example. I was just thinking of an analogy. So if you think about a rainforest, right? Even a child can understand what a rainforest is, right? And all this has to begin, uh, you know, when we are young, when our kids are young, when the younger generations get exposed to the importance of this kind of diversity as well, right? So a rainforest can only thrive, can only function because there are so many variety of flora and fauna that interact with each other and make it that amazing place, that amazing ecosystem. So imagine a place where there are only very, very limited type of flora and fauna, right? There's a, there's a limit to which that ecosystem will grow. But when you look at a rainforest, you see the way it thrives, right? Because the interactions between uh, these various uh, uh, flora and fauna, you know, actually create that opportunity for growth for each other as well. Okay. So there is an acceptance, there is a co-thriving and an opportunity creation as well. So you're pushing your boundaries beyond what normally would be a very restrained, uh, restrained uh, kind of an environment. So hence, the importance of diversity, equity, inclusion, these things are crucial and one cannot really ignore it. Yeah, so I think these are my thoughts uh, that I wanted to share on DEI. Fantastic, fantastic. 
so rightly said madhulika the uh, it's expanding the definitions are expanding the understanding is expanding not just at the leadership levels but across the organization people are people are becoming more and more aware that one diversity inclusion equity is important they need to understand it they need to know more about it and accept it so let's take uh, the stage to parshuram parshuram your views on it yes thank you hemant for inviting me on this talk it's a pleasure and co panelists it's a truly diverse co panelists i would suggest so uh, from da perspective i mean have we not talked about it earlier we have been right i mean so far so long we've been talking about din i diversity inclusion because we have been living like that the uh, uh, take it from you know barter system to now we are like you know in current world we are like exchanging lot of thoughts lot of shares uh, too many medias that we are exchanging our thoughts in you know backgrounds so it it has always been there it has inherited right from our past but why the focus is going now to diversity equity and inclusion now because as we learn more about it we have rea- we have started realizing benefits of it and you know as a human being we know where to tap the potential and how to tap it and that's where dei comes in picture it is becoming core of a business core of an organization and you know organizations are being more con- conscious about how they are operating how they are really uh, working and you know towards their goals are they really progressing on the growth trajectory or not i mean everybody is giving thought to that and every- and this is a competitive world anyways so while i say that uh, there are a lot of facets are untouched which needs to be unfolded from diversity equity and inclusion point of view and that's where we all are striving to work upon and organizations are helping i mean it's a top down approach i feel like it's not about leader talking about dei but there are uh, responsibilities or you know uh, contributions from employees uh, cannot uh, go and attend it so that's how mix it up and what is dei in in simple terms i would like to uh, give a quote here uh, it's a famous quote from uh, the uh, um the pioneer i would say varna mayer who was uh, really an uh, you no know, advocate of dni initially and now we talked about e as well so her definition of d and i was a uh, simple terms diversity is being invited to the party right inclusion is being asked to dance i mean i think we can relate isn't it but going beyond that every organization is doing that i mean diverse wise uh, being invited we are inviting different talents experiences background people right but taking it step forward uh, it's like inclusion okay we invited them but how to make you know connect those dots and get potential out of the is is nothing but inclusion welcoming them and then you know i would like to expand it or extend it to you know equity what is equity we talked about dni but equity is something i feel is i asked you to dance but do i have an access to the dance floor so that's what equity is giving support giving you know uh, infrastructure supporting them to have an access to all the resources organization has is what i feel equity and also this is from organization point of view talked about and as i mentioned organizations are moving from workforce to a uh, whole of a business approach isn't it so in that case this employees are backbone of all the organizations we invited them we asked them to dance we have given them a uh, dance floor but are they really willing to contribute or are they really free to dance the way they like and that's what you know belonging comes in and that is another facet you know uh, brings in perspectives from employees how they can contribute and how they can really uh, grow themselves as well as grow organizations by contributing in the diverse work environment and that's what i i feel like you know diverse uh, 
an inclusive workforce is a business and human imp imperative. We cannot just isolate the leadership and employees that apart. They need to work together is what I think DEI is all about in my perspective. Fantastic. Fantastic. Your example makes me want to dance and invite my fellow members, fellow friends out here to dance with me. And hopefully they feel enough for me that they can join me in dance, the feeling of belonging. That's beautifully explained, Parshalam. Uh, with that, I come over to you, Saili, your thoughts on diversity, yeah. equity and inclusion. Thank you again, uh, Heyman, for having me. And it is really great to hear from Madhulika and Parshuram. So, and both have very beautifully put up, you know, the changing perspective. So, uh, when you ask, uh, you know, what are the changing perspective? Uh, so, with respect to the organization, uh, I feel we are more of uh, now embracing uh, this diversi diversity, inclusion and equity. So, it is also providing uh, an expanded market. Uh, a market reach, I would say, you know, expanded market reach for the organizations to tap in, uh, you know, improved uh, talent. So the, the wider scope is what organizations have gotten. So by prioritizing D, E, and I, uh, organizations are now positioning themselves uh, for long-term success, you know, in an increasingly uh, diverse and interconnected world. So the more and more uh, talented individuals uh, you know, are coming forward and organizations are collaborating. They're more open um, in welcoming individuals at, you know, various levels uh, in the organization and focusing on, you know, how do we include them in the work culture, in the organizations, and then also provide these opportunities, which are not just equal, but ensuring equity yeah, across. So a conscious effort is now uh, going in at the organization level uh, to bring in broad and you know diverse set of people across various strata so and it's again it's again not gender uh, not just you know uh, the economic background there are a lot more uh, uh, diversity uh, lies in even in an individual at various ages there are a lot of thought processes suggestions observations that somebody you know can bring into the platter you know for the organization to grow for the organization to change their own culture which has been going on, you know, for years and years. So that is uh, one of the perspective. Also, uh, if you observe the the, the earlier trend uh, was such that organizations used to, you know, uh, promote their their own financials or uh, you know status quo kind of a branding that was done. However, now when you see whenever an organization puts themselves, you know, up uh, in the market in the um, you know, in the advertisements, branding, you know, what they bring about, they promote the work culture that they have. They promote how they uh, welcome, uh, you know, diverse individuals, uh, what are their percentages, you know, uh, their statistics, uh, considering, you know, how do they take care of inclusion? How do they provide uh, opportunities to grow uh, within the organization? So the perspective, um, the change in perspective is also the branding that they do. Uh, putting it out in the society. So what has happened is uh, people have become more sensitized towards this, more aware and more accepted uh, kind of, you know, this is like, yeah, this is happening around and this is a very uh, good change that is coming about. So as I mentioned, overall, you know, the perspective was talked about earlier is being done and a lot more is happening within, uh, you know, uh, these uh, diversity, inclusion, and equity and equality, what we speak about. So uh, organizations are not limiting themselves, I would say now, and they are more open, embracing these uh, changes happening across, because of which the society at large uh, is changing, you know, everybody's perspective around the society, the world overall. So that is uh, what I feel is happening with this concept. Super, super. Thank you, Saili, for giving us that angle too. Because if you look at it, we went through the views of Madhulika, Parshuram and Saili. And Madhulika started with the team, the diversity within the team. Parshuram took it to an organizational level and Saili, you took it to the global level.